Hey guys, PewDiePie's Racist Gaming Channel here. Joking, please don't take that seriously. Oh god, the comments are gonna be a mess on this one. Well, I got another story for you folks. And it's actually kind of weird because ever since I've been making these story videos, I've had this thought that I'm gonna run out of stories, but a lot of really weird things have been happening to me in the past couple of weeks. I'm trying to convince myself that it's just some kind of coincidence and not aliens or anything. So on Twitter, I asked you guys a couple of days ago whether you wanted to hear about a pedophile incident or a racist incident, and you guys answered pedophile incident, and I published that video. So today, I'm going to go ahead and do the other half, which is the racist incident. So let's just go ahead and get right to it. So this story begins with me and a good friend heading to the movies. Well, when I say it like that, it sounds like the intro to a porno. So yeah, I actually end up doing something social and hang out with a friend instead of staying inside of my room browsing for Reddit all day. Yeah, Reddit. Let's go with that. And uh, we decided to go and see a movie. Nothing strange about two dudes going to see a movie together, right? That's totally normal. So we go to the movie theater. Everything is going uh, okay. And we go and we decide to see this movie called Hateful Eight, which is not a family-friendly movie. It's got a lot of violence and blood and gore and weird shit, but... But it ends up being a good movie overall. I'm not going to do a movie review. If you guys want me to do movie reviews, go ahead and leave a like on this video. <laughs> oh, God. I managed to completely derail off of my story and just managed to sell out like the horror that I am. Okay. Anyway, back to the movie. So we go inside this movie theater and we sit down and it's me and my friend. And then there's two other people that join the movie theater. And that's it. This movie is clearly not doing very well. Um, there's only one show of it the day that we go, which is like at six o'clock at night. And there's only four people in the movie theater total. There's me and my friend sitting at the very top and a couple of rows down There's this really fat man and what I can imagine to be his wife girlfriend sister mom I don't know that might actually be a bit of a stretch So we're sitting chilling watching a movie two guys, you know, just chilling and all of a sudden out of nowhere uh, the n-word is dropped in the movie and it kind of like wakes me up a little bit because I wasn't expecting it. And I hear a little chuckle from the older people that are sitting below us, the fat man and his significant other, I guess. And um, I don't really think anything of it, right? It's just uh, whatever. And then the end bomb is dropped again. And then I hear the chuckle gets a little bit louder from these two people that are down there. And then the N word is dropped again. And then this chuckle starts turning into a laughter. And every time the N-word is dropped, these people just start breaking out in laughter. And they start laughing at really weird scenes in the movie that you shouldn't be laughing at. The main character in the movie is black. And whenever anything bad happens to him, these people in front just start laughing hysterically, right? So at this point, me and my friend are kind of like looking at each other in the middle of the movie. It's not a look of affection that two normal dudes would look at each other normally while seeing a movie. No, this is the kind of look that you give to somebody when you don't know what the hell is going on. Like, why are these people laughing at these weird parts of the movie? And why are they laughing every time the N-word is dropped? And so the movie keeps going and then it finishes. The people who were sitting in front of us, I guess I'll describe them. I don't want you guys going hunting after them or anything like that. But they were very large, overweight. The man was wearing glasses and suspenders that's about it really like i don't know what else to say except for the fact that i think we found some racists yeah it was a very awkward movie they were definitely laughing very loudly at parts that they should not have been laughing at especially whenever the n-word was dropped so that was my encounter with some real life racists guys they exist out there so i'm actually interested in hearing from you guys have you ever actually encountered someone in real life being racist um i would really like to know i'm definitely going to be reading the comments i read all the comments on all the videos but i'll pay special attention to this video because I'm actually interested in knowing if you guys have had any racist encounters before. But anyway, that's that story. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to go ahead and leave a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and check out my other stories as well. So until next time, stay safe out there. <laughs> Holy shit, that was creepy. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to creep you out before you guys leave the video. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all later. Pearl Feast!